I am Sneha. In this video, I will explain BMS and why do we need BMS, how does BMS work and how to model BMS in signaling. So stay with me till the end of this video. First, why do we need BMS? You would have come across situations where battery failures occurred and the battery would have blasted. Have you ever thought about the reason behind it? The reason is cell unbalancing. In many technologies, we work on battery pack, a group of batteries. Battery pack consists of batteries with different nominal voltages. We use lithium ion batteries whose nominal voltage range from 2.4 volt to 3.7 volt. So every battery in a battery pack has a different nominal voltage which affects its charging and discharging capacity. In a group of batteries, one battery may charge very fast and the other may take a long time to get charged. If we provide a source for every battery with the same quantity, then battery failure occurs. So BMS, the battery management system is emerged. That emerged in the year 2006. So for more details, visit our blog whose link is provided in the description. So what is BMS exactly? A battery management system is an electronic system that manages a rechargeable battery by protecting the battery from operating outside its safe operating area, monitoring its state, calculating secondary data, operating that data, controlling its environment and authenticating it and balancing it. How does this BMS work? Observe the block diagram of BMS. There are five different parts of BMS to study to understand its working. They are CFET and DFET, current amplifiers, cell balancing, thermistor, real-time clock, and microcontroller. CFET and DFET work as switch. So, when the battery is connected to a charger, microcontroller senses the incoming voltage and closes the CFET to make a path for charging. Or when battery pack is connected to load, then microcontroller senses the absence of voltage and closes DFET to make a path for discharging. Next is current amplifier. This measures current or voltage flow in a circuit and reports it to the microcontroller which microcontroller uses to recognize the direction and quantity of charge flow in the circuit. Next is cell balancing. BMS major function is cell balancing. Cell balancing monitors all cells to keep them at the same charge level. So there are two such techniques, passive cell balancing, active cell balancing. Passive cell balancing uses a resistor and a switch. When microcontroller comes come across any battery with a higher charge than other batteries, it closes the switch to discharge the charge from that battery. Active cell balancing is just transferring charge from a high charge battery to a low charge battery. It uses capacitor which we call a flying capacitor and an SPDT switch. This capacitor and SPDT switch connect two batteries with a high and low charge battery. When there is a high charge battery gets a high charge, the switch closes with that battery to get charged. Then the SPDT switch closes the low charge battery where the capacitor discharge and fills the low charge battery to make it equal to the other battery. But passive cell balancing is more efficient than active cell balancing. And BMS also consists of thermistor to regulate the temperature. There is a real-time clock that monitors the running, sleeping and switch off mode of BMS. This is all about its working. Let's jump into Simulic to understand its model. I have designed three models for charging, discharging and passive cell balancing. Basically each model has two major parts, battery circuit and microcontroller function. You need Simscape package installed in your Sim Simulink to design BMS. So let's first discuss discharging circuit. I will first run at 0 second. Observe initial SOC that is state of charge. It is 96%. If I run the model at 1000 stop time, 
द एस ओ सी ऑफ बैटरी पैक इज सिक्सटी सेवन पॉइंट नाइन सेवन परसेंट एंड इफ आई रन द मॉडल एट सिक्स थाउजेंड स्टॉप टाइम एस ओ सी हैज़ रीच जीरो एंड इफ यू अब्जर्व करेंट एंड वोल्टेज इट इज़ वेरी लेस एंड इफ यू इंक्रीज स्टॉप टाइम फर्दर देर ओंट बी नेगेटिव एस ओ सी मीन्स देर इज नो फर्दर डिस्चार्जिंग सो हाउ दिस वर्कस हियर थ्री बैटरीज आर कनेक्टेड इन सीरीज विद अ लोड रजिस्टर दिस बिकेम बैटरी सर्क्यूट टू स्टॉप द डिस्चार्जिंग बिलो जीरो परसेंट एस ओ सी वी हैव टू ऑपरेट और स्टॉप डिस्चार्जिंग यूजिंग माइक्रो कंट्रोलर हियर मॉसफेट एंड रिलेशनल ऑपरेटर वर्क एज अ माइक्रो कंट्रोलर सो हियर आई हैव टेक नॉट इक्वल टू रिलेशनल ऑपरेटर टू चेक वेदर बैटरी रीच जीरो परसेंट एस ओ सी और नॉट If SOC is not equal to zero, then relational operator generates one in output. This output is connected to gate of MOSFET. In turn, MOSFET closes the circuit to continue discharge. But when SOC reaches zero percent, then relational operator produces zero, and this switch off the MOSFET, and circuit become open circuit. So there would not be further discharging. therefore there is no harm to battery pack don't forget to add power gui without which simscape model doesn't work next is charging model charging model is similar to discharging model in charging model we have voltage source instead of a load and one more difference is constant input value of the relation operator is 100 its function is same as discharging let's run and observe the function next is passive cell balancing model here this part is battery circuit and this part is microcontroller part as i showed circuit for passive cell balancing before referring the same i have built this model i have connected three batteries in series and each battery is connected to switch to monitor equal soc with other batteries in pack so what happens in this matlab function is it continuously monitors soc of all the batteries as you can see the input to the matlab function and when it come across any batteries soc greater than other batteries then this function send one to that battery switch for example if we consider this first battery soc is greater than other two batteries then the output of the matlab function would be 1 for s1 0 for s2 and 0 for s3 then s1 connected switch turns on and this battery starts discharging and it continues till s1 get output as 0 so this way passive cell balancing takes place in bms let's run and observe the result at initial and at 200 second stop time observe the initial soc of all three batteries they are different but when i run at 200 second observe we have almost similar soc try it on your own and let us know your experience below in comment section this was all about this video hope you enjoyed our video if you want to access the simulink model developed by me visit the blog with the link in the description and purchase the resources If you like our channel content please do subscribe to our channel as per channel statistics we have very less subscribers rate compared to your rate support us for more videos like this thank you for watching this video do like this video if you found this helpful if you have any queries post them in the comments and get in touch with us follow us on linkedin facebook and subscribe to our youtube channel Education is our future matlab is our feature happy matlabing